All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, geometrically construct a parabola. So you might do this in a geometry class, um, although I think that's kind of unlikely. Uh, but you're probably doing it in a pre-calculus class or maybe an Algebra 2 class. So I'm on my Inspire, and I'm actually in a geometry page, uh, which I don't use all that often. So you can tell you're in geometry when there's this scale up here. And what I'm going to do is I need a point. So menu 4, 1, so that's point. Put it anywhere, doesn't really matter. Exit out of that. And then I need a line. So a uh, parabola is the set of all points in a plane um, that are equidistant from a point called the focus and a line called the directrix. So I need a point and a line to be able to do this. So I'll put my line down here. And it doesn't really matter where the line uh, goes. So the next thing I need to do is think about it. Well, if I'm measuring the distance from a point, so a random point, not that point, but any point to a line, I move along the uh, perpendicular distance, because that's what it means to find the distance from a point to a line. Um, so what I'm going to do here is actually construct, so menu and then 7 for construction. I want a perpendicular line. So I want a line perpendicular to this, and uh, I want the point that it's passing through to actually be on the line. Could have put that anywhere, but I want it on the line. Um, now if you move this, you can see it stays perpendicular. So all the points on the parabola actually are going to intersect this line somewhere. Um, because it's going to be a point on the line, so I can measure the distance along the line and then a point and to that point. So that's what I want to be equal. Uh, so to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect this point, the focus, to this point right down here. Um, and the reason for that is what I want to do is I actually want to make an isosceles triangle. I'm going to try to take advantage of the isosceles triangle theorem, kind of, or the properties of an isosceles isosceles triangle. So um, I have this. This is going to be the base. And then this is going to be one of the legs. And then the other leg is going to be here. And those would be the equal legs. So what I'll do is use the isosceles triangle theorem or the idea behind it. I'm going to find the perpendicular bisector of this segment. So construction, perpendicular bisector of this segment. And then so this part up here is the altitude of the isosceles triangle that I'm making. So I want to find the vertex angle of that. So I'm going to find the intersection. So menu, and then points and lines, intersection. So I want to intersect this. And right now, they're not intersecting. But as soon as I arrow over this, the uh, software just expands the line to make it happen. So right there, that's the intersection. And let me go and put a segment here so you can actually see the isosceles triangle. Point to point. So if you see, here's your isosceles triangle, the base, and then one of the sides and the other side. Now this and this are guaranteed to be equal because I created an isosceles triangle. So if I move this around, the point up here, the vertex of that triangle, is always equidistant from the line and from the point. So actually, every point that this can be, so every location that point can have, is a point on the parabola. So what I want to do to just kind of finish this off is I'm going to find the locus of this point up here as this point moves along the line. So the way I do that, it's a construction. So menu, construct, and locus, so number six. And what you do is you click first on the point that's going to form the locus, and then you click next on the point that you drag around to make that point move. So if I click here, this curve that just popped up is actually the parabola that I wanted. So you can see as I move, every point that's on that curve is equidistant from the line, which is called the directrix, and the given point, which is called the focus. And so that's how you actually construct a parabola. So let me see if I can move it so it looks a little more like a parabola that you're used to. Most of the parabolas that you're used to have a focus and directrix that are very close to each other. So the value uh, you'll you'll eventually know the value is p. The value of p is very small. And they have a small, what's called a focal width. So that's the, uh, that's the distance. Uh, if I draw a line that is parallel to the directrix that passes through the focus, it's going to intersect your parabola in two places. You can see I just made the parabola uh, open down um, if I move this. So anyway, the line that's parallel to the directrix that passes through the focus will intersect the parabola in two points. And the distance between those points is called the focal width. And that's about it. I really just wanted to show you how to construct one of these. And that's how you do it. So it's kind of all based on an isosceles triangle. 
Um, and I hope you found this helpful. So good luck.